Salam alaikum, shalom, grüß Gott, bonjour, and welcome to this video. In this one I will talk about three amps. I talked about these two, the Roxanne Caspian M Series 1 and the Arkham Solo Music Mark II. And in this one I will compare them to this beauty. And sound wise, it is a beauty and a beast. Now, um, I talked a lot about the Roxanne and the Arkham in my last video, comparing these two to the SMSL A1. That's a class A amp with uh, 10 watts into uh, both channels. So, um, I'm sorry, 10 watts per channel. That's right. Now, this one has 30 watts into uh, 8 ohms and um, that's written in the manual 48 into 4 ohms per channel. Now this is the, sorry, the Thugton A21 Special Edition your class A amplifier. Now, uh, beginning on the left with the Roxanne, it is at louder volumes the um, most controlled sounding uh, amp. Now I listened um, to all of these amps using my Tannoys. XT6F. Now, at louder volumes, this Roxanne is very, very good controlled. Um, still, it seems a bit lean compared to the Arkham. The Arkham sounds a bit fuller, especially at, um, at low volumes and mid volumes. I, I love the Arkham. Uh, it's really a bargain um, and sounding much better than it uh, should for its current price, right? It, it began with 2000 euros. And um, I think that was okay uh, for the price, but I guess it cost, or it did cost that much because of the CD player played in, the streaming and so on and so forth, um, Bluetooth. Now, the Roxanne is only an integrated amp sounding leaner um, throughout all frequency ranges and um, throughout all volumes. But at uh, louder volumes it is really, it, it, there is, a, how could I describe it? It is, it controls the speakers perfectly. And um, the, the Arkham, it is, to be honest, I don't listen at loud volumes. That's why um, I don't care about that. But I know a lot of people are listening at uh, louder volumes. That's why that's important, I guess. And if you only um, listen at louder volumes, then uh, I would stick to the Roxanne. Um, but, but, only because it is so well controlled. Even at louder volumes, the Arkham still sounds fuller, even though it switches to its AB mode, because the first few, I guess, 15 watts are in class A mode with this one. Now, this is exactly in the middle between these two um, amps. And why? Because I, I talked too much about these two now. I want to talk about this one. So, this, the Sakten, a21 special edition is by far the most meaty full bodied sounding amp here its rendering of of natural instruments and when i say natural i always say the same it's it doesn't matter of um, I, I think it's about the recording now um Trumpets, uh, guitars, piano, um, 
um, drums, snares, and so on and so forth. This, this makes instruments sound so unbelievably natural. It is, they just appear in this room. It is, um, I guess that's um, some, some advantage of this almost distortionless class A thing. But I don't know why all the colors of the sound are so beautiful with this. Uh, on the third, fur, furthest thing of an um, audio engineer. I don't know why. I just experienced um, the first time with this amp because I listen at lower volumes and then um, I, I get to know the class A ish uh, mode of this amp. And that made me love class A. Then I, I listened to the SMSL A1 and I love that too. And um, I guess the Roxanne is a fantastic uh, class AB amp. Even uh, years after its uh, release. But when it comes to tone, class A is something different. And this is really, really an amazing amp. And I know this costs almost 4,000 um, dollars or euros. This too. And this um, began with, I guess, 2,000 euros too. So um, this is double the price of these two. Yeah, and you know what? You can hear that. And it is obvious. It is not a tiny difference or, or you have to listen carefully. No, you don't have to listen carefully. It is obvious. You, it is in the first second, you immediately uh, hear that this is special. So I guess it deserves this special edition. Um, this, these two letters for um, SE for special edition. Now, I told you in some videos before that I love my speakers. I have these tannoys are um, a joy to listen to, but they aren't, the, they are open, they are um, dynamic and so on and so forth. And the tone is good, but I always wanted them to sound more natural, more organic. And guess what this amp does? Exactly what I wanted. Exactly. And even more than I expected. This amp is really crazy. And now, uh, this has 80 watts into 8 ohms. This has 70 watts into 8 ohms. This has... Uh, 30 watts into 8 ohms. <clears throat> Guess which amp is sonically the by far most powerful amp. 3, 2, 1. Look at my finger. This one. The Sugden is obviously the most powerful amp of these three contenders. Now, forget about watts. Just, it is that simple. Forget about watts. If there are two exactly um, same approaches to an amp, then you can look for the watts. For example, there is a Sugden Masterclass Integrated Amplifier IA4, right? And uh, that has 33 watts into 8 ohms. This has uh, 30 watts. And that is more powerful because the approach is almost the same. And then you can compare the watts. But you know what? Class A. I imagine it is like throwing bigger stones and 
better rounded stones at the amplifier. And the other ones, the, I would say, um, yeah, default mode, uh, class A, B, M's, I know, this is class G, I know, but um, it's still uh, not a pure class A amp. Now, even though these throw more stones at um, the speaker, those stones, when I say stones, I mean watts, these, uh, those stones aren't as big and as well-rounded as uh, this class A amp does. So when it comes to power, this just sounds like, I don't know, like, like uh, a class AB sounds maybe. I can't say I can't say class A B because there are so many different approaches to class A B. So I don't want to um, act like they are all the same. That would be unfair. But in these two, in these three, I'm sorry, in these three, this is by far the most powerful. And when I say powerful, I mean um, this bass punch. Um, this this um, control in the in the mid range that this is this is another story this is on another level on a on a higher tier and um, the the top end um, how should I, how should I say what do other guys say the top end um, shine no they don't say shine so this shines the the higher notes. They are so sweet. It's, damn it, this is, I enjoy listening to music with this. Like I have never enjoyed listening to music with these speakers before. It's that easy and you know how much I love my Arkham. And, um, but this is, this is unbelievable. Now, at louder volumes, at louder volumes, the bass, um, that this makes my speakers play. The bass gets a bit more elastic, not as punchy as this one. No, this is like, um, how could I make it so? And this is, this, I'm sorry, this is more like boom, 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 boom. Now, I don't know if you understood what I mean. So at louder volumes, this is still the fastest, the most controlled. But I love, I love the way this um, sounds at louder volumes, even though I wouldn't describe it as, um, as controlled as uh, the Roxanne. And the Arkham, there is a reason it is in the middle. It is about in the middle. It is not like... It is, but it's also not boom, 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 boom. It's not like that too. And I'm sorry, I'm not a beatboxer. I can't um, beatbox the middle of both um, bass responses. Now, um, in all regards, in in each and every um, aspect of of sonic character characteristics, this is the winner. This is just, um, I love class A and I hope so much that that cheaper class D and less um, or more efficient amps will get the sound of pure class A in the near future. Now, if I, yeah, there's one thing, the back, this has plastic. Um, binding posts, this has metallic, and this has like real royal golden um, binding posts. That's crazy. So the build quality is the best um, with the Sugden, and I would say the build quality of the Roxanne and the Arkham is about the same. Yeah, if I've forgotten something, 
just write it down. I'll answer within a few minutes or hours. And um, yeah, if you have any questions, just write it down too. I wish you a good day or night whenever you watch this. And um, please remember, don't judge gear by its review. And this is not a review. I just um, take you on my journey to my final setup. This could be, uh, uh, or I, I guess this will be a keeper for a long time. And um, I, oh, I did forget to mention, I listened to uh, these, these three amps using my Cambridge CXN version 2 uh, streaming um, Tidal and sometimes Spotify Connect. Now, um, also, also, also uh, MQA files and so on and so forth. Now, uh, when it comes to resolution, because talking about title, I know it is uh, a bit um, more crispy than than um, Spotify, because right now there is no Spotify Hi-Fi yet, and um, everything. Also, the resolution in the mid range is so delicate with. Uh, this amp it is just it is crystal clear and um, with a high resolution of detail and still sweet not anal analytical not at all yeah and that's crazy that is really crazy i would i wish there because i i would love to have no component on my sideboard like just flowers and so on but there is no active speaker i know um using a a integrated class a amp or yeah most of the active speakers use use class d amps now um that's it so please keep peace in the middle of your mind and see you in the next video bye bye